Hey guys and gals, Vlad here with AVT Astron. Today we are looking at Celestron's D-Rings and their newer aluminum dew shields. For those of you that might not be familiar, I run a little Astro blog called avt-astro.com and of course this YouTube channel, so if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Over the years, I've had the privilege of owning over 100 scopes, more accessories than I could count. And this is some more of the accessories, right? Alrighty guys, now obviously the rings are installed. I'm linking up a video of how, uh, of my how to on how to install this thing. A pretty straightforward process. And now uh, let's sneak outside and kind of see this stuff in action in the wet Northwest. Alrighty guys, welcome outside. So in the name of science, we are going to perform a little experiment. This is a stock EVO 8, no do prevention, no do cap. Taking the cap off now. We'll see how long it takes this guy to do up in the Pacific Northwest in late winter when it's nice and wet outside, but clear. Ten minutes later. Alrighty guys, so I'm back. So lo and behold, literally ten minutes have passed. The corrector plays already do it up. And this is exactly why I always recommend the dew shield as your very first accessory for um, an SCT. Because of this, uh, and it also blocks tree line stuff. So anyhow, let's get down to testing the dew ring and the celestron dew shield. Alrighty guys, so um, since the EVO 8 OTA is dude up, you know, I've got the next uh, OTA out. Um, anyway, so this is my first time setting this thing up. Um, I guess um, the thing that you need to run is, you know, some kind of dew controller, although I think you can plug these in directly, like into 12 volt. I'm just using a Kendrick dew controller. Uh, it's set on the high setting, so that should be basically like the same as you know just being plugged directly in and i think the way that this works is that um my first time using this but i believe you know you could plug this in into either of the um power packs there and then this is the actual new d shield that celestron makes the aluminum one um it does have like a little slot here for where you you know you could kind of attach these i believe so let's see if this thing will go on there Success story guys. All right, so check it out. I think uh, it's all plugged in ready to go and let me grab the camera and we'll kind of Take a little bit of a closer look at what this looks installed Now this thing does have like this little pocket here where you know, these are supposed to clip into so if you want to do that you can I don't really see too much harm in just you know Hanging off like that Alrighty guys, so anyway, I'm gonna, you know, mess around with the scope here, do some observing and that type of deal, and I'll kind of keep you guys updated. Hopefully the rain will keep us dew free, you know, along with the dew shield. Uh, I'll let you know how it does. Alrighty guys, so quick update. So I've been observing, let's see what time it is. Uh, nine, so like, you know, roughly two and a half, three hours. Um, so let's check this out. Um, as you can see, Dew is pretty heavy tonight. Um, I mean, like the whole scope as well. And uh, I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a stress test. I mean, the dew setup's been working great. I haven't had any dew while I've been observing. I did kind of go out to the observatory though and kind of left this thing pointed more or less up, you know. Uh, dew, just in case you're not familiar, works kind of like rain. So essentially, think of that uh, as rain that you can't really see, it kind of falls from the top. So I wanted to kind of do a little bit of a stress test. As you can see, the whole can control it is what. So we're about to find out if the dew ring was able to keep the corrector dry. And if it did, I'm gonna call this a major success, honestly. <laughs> Guys, it's still dry um i like there's like that little haze i think that's just because the corrector is dirty on the scope that does not look like due to me um so yeah guys i mean i'd say that this thing is working and by the way i did kind of you know like feel um you know the actual rain all around and it does feel pretty warm uniformly so yeah i'm pretty impressed guys um so yeah see you guys inside and we'll kind of wrap this up 
Alrighty guys, welcome back inside. So as you guys saw, um, the do rain and the do shield combo worked, I mean, you know, pretty much as well as I, you know, could have hoped for. I mean, honestly, I was actually kind of even like impressed really that with having the scope pointed completely up, the uh, the corrector plate did not do up. Again, do is kind of like rain, you know, the higher, uh, you know, like basically the more pointed up you are towards space, the more likely you are um, to get do formation basically on your corrector plate. So, you know, how would I say this compares to a douche trap? I mean, realistically, guys, um, I think, you know, this is kind of a cleaner installation, you know, overall. If you have just the, an SCT, right, and you don't want to, you know, like share a douche trap between scopes, honestly, I'd probably recommend getting the ring because, I mean, they're only about 50 bucks or so, depending on the size scope that you have. Uh, for the CA, I think they're like 55 bucks or so. Uh, the dew shield itself, guys, um, I think this is a cool unit. I mean, the, the kind of the thing with the aluminum ones, they are heavier, right? So like the flexible dew shields are gonna be much lighter than this. I mean, it is rigid. I do like that it comes with the cap, you know, to kind of cap it off. Um, and then as you can see, you can still use the stock uh, um, dust cap, you know, to cover up the corrector plate, you know. Uh, like when you're not using the scope with the do ring installed, so that's pretty cool. Alrighty guys, so in summation, the do rings, I honestly, I think that they're really cool. I do recommend them. I don't see any downsides to like, I didn't see any effect on, you know, like the, the, the way that the scope performed or anything like that. Um, do shield, uh, you know, if you like the idea, like, you know, of it being rigid, cause that way it kind of does not, you know, have any chance of protruding into the light path. Um, I mean, this thing works great. So, I mean, besides the price, I mean, it is kind of expensive. So, like the C8 version, I think it's uh, about 170 bucks, versus the flexible G shields, I think are usually under 40 bucks. I mean, obviously, this thing is a lot more expensive. It is nice, though. Um, so, yeah, the Durand for sure, this one kind of pricey, but I do like it. Uh, anyhow, hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, please leave them in the thing below. If you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.